Please listen. Last week we talked about uh, the major scale. We did the scale in the key of C and we did the scale in the key of G. Well, I was asked the question that when I did the major scale in the key of C, there was no sharp. However, when we did the scale in the key of G, there was an F sharp. And the gentleman asked, why did I play an F sharp instead of an F? And I'm thinking that's a really good question. Well, the reason is that there is a pattern that is necessary in order to play the major scale. And this is every major scale that you play from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and in between, okay? The pattern has to do with whole steps and half steps, okay? For example, we're in the key of G, which is where we were last week, okay? So, a half step is defined as the fret that is right next door to another fret, okay? The spaces between these silver bars, they're called frets, okay? Frets, all right? So, if I'm in the key of G, and I go a half step up, my root will then be A flat or G sharp, one and the same, okay? So to do a half step, just remember right next door, a whole step, you skip the house next door and you go to the next house, okay? So my whole step from G is going to be what? A, right? Correct, okay? So that is the difference between whole step and half steps. Now. For the major scale, there's a pattern of whole steps and half steps. There are five whole steps and two half steps. That gives you all seven of your notes for that scale. In the key of C, your notes we said were G. I'm sorry, in the key of G, your notes we said were G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, your root you're right there okay then you've got a whole step that means you're skipping in there you go for your a and you got another whole step and you got your b now we're doing a half step and you got your c then a whole step you got your d another whole step e another whole step that F sharp, then back to your one, your G. Okay, got it? So we've got a whole step, a whole step, a half step, a whole step, a whole step, a whole step, and a half step. Okay, and that is the pattern for every major scale. All right, I hope this helped you on your journey to playing guitar. God bless you.